on YouTube, it's your boy, Mr. Random. And you guys, uh, actually, I was kind of in a hurry today. I just got out of work, uh, working super, super early today. And I'm on my way on a four hour drive, four hours pretty much to Tampa, Florida from where I live in Miami. Now the reason for that is because today guys, I am swapping out, you see it right there, I'm pointing at it, the push bar, the Houston push bar right there guys is getting swapped out. I'm getting a full wrap around and push bar. Now the reason for that is because I'm gonna be moving up north and um, the deer population is a little bit more than here in Florida. <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys know about deer accidents, but those things are no jokes. Uh, a lot of them end in fatalities and the better protection, the more protection I can get on my car, especially a full wraparound bar, the better off I am. Unfortunately, that means I'm gonna have to get rid of my super ultra rare Houston push bar. Only three in the state of Florida. I own one of them. Uh, either way, it's gonna go to a good home. It's gonna go to somebody who really appreciates it. Of course, I'm talking about Interceptor boys. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below to his Instagram. Another uh, Crown Vic enthusiast like myself. You guys are gonna see his car as soon as I get to his place. But today, we're gonna be installing a wraparound push bar on my Crown Vic and we're gonna be removing the Houston push bar. Either way, if you guys wanna see a little uh, push bar install video, and if you guys want to see what the hell it looks like after it's installed with the wraparound push well, let's stick around for today's episode because it's going to be a good one either way i will catch you guys let's go ahead and fast forward four hours from now you lucky bastards you don't have to sit here on this road for four hours here we go three two one all right guys so i made it out here uh but for the sake of uh saving time we're not gonna actually install my uh, push bar we're not gonna install it on uh, James uh, Crown Vic because like I said, you know, it's like a four hour drive back. So as much time as we can save, it'll be a lot better, but we will be installing uh, this one, right? We're, we're installing this one, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. All right, so that's James and Josh. Josh, there we go. So yeah, check out, uh, what, what year's your Crown Vic, man? 2010. 2010? Yeah. Nice, dude, nice. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is Josh's Vic right here, man. You see all across the state of Florida, man. There's a lot of uh, Crown Vic enthusiasts like you guys can see, man. This one's pretty badass too, man. So, Josh's Vic, James Vic, and that's mine right there. All right, so we managed to get, uh, like I said earlier, the Houston uh, push bar out of the way. And uh, me and James were doing some dirty work, but now it's uh, it's Josh's turn. This is his area of expertise right here. He's gonna be helping us put in this wraparound. It's pretty much the same one that's on uh, James Vic. Uh, it's gonna go here as well. So uh, this is where he comes in handy. You know, we, we dust ourselves off. Now it's his turn to go ahead and uh, get one. You wanna be
it's not as easy as as it's made to be seen. You know? Yeah, Josh tried. Yeah. <laughs> A moment everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> this is like literally like five hours later. It's the next day, you know. <laughs> see, that's why you don't see many uh, Go Rhino push bar uh, install uh, tutorials on YouTube because it's a fucking pain in the ass. Uh, it took the effort of like, you know, everybody pretty much to get this thing on but we got it on we got pretty much the main piece on now we're hooking up the side parts right here there we go there's the other one as well oh my god this thing is looking so crazy dude this looks so badass already pick it up and just do wait to it <laughs> but that's what it's going to be used for from now on it, there we go <laughs> so there it is man you know a uh, big shout out to the interceptor boys man out here in the middle of fucking nowhere compared to where i live man miami i've never been this far out it's been a long time but they did one hell of a fucking job uh with the go rhino push bar with the wraparound for the headlights definitely feel a lot safer now heading out to the country with all the deer and all that it's gonna be fun to see uh, which one would win either way uh, now we're actually gonna go ahead and review uh, James interceptor that's right guys but that's gonna be for another video that's gonna be dropping some other time because I'm tired as hell we got to get everything settled up we actually got to drive out to the location but like I said uh, make sure you check out interceptor boys the uh, link is gonna be in the description down below a big shout out oh there you go hold on there it is you just got to dust it off a little bit there we go that, that's what we call hard work man josh good to see you james all right so we're gonna ride out and that was it man like i said i really couldn't film the whole thing because it really was a pain in the ass and it took the effort of all three of us and the brain power whatever lack thereof of all three of us to get this done but either way we did it we accomplished it i'll go take a little bit of glamour shots and all that when we get to our driving spot but this is uh pretty much it so now we're gonna go ahead and drive out i'm gonna review james uh vic and i'll catch you guys in the next video all right guys so on my way to the glamour shot uh location where we're gonna get some good footage man look at james crown vic in action that thing is freaking awesome so like i said man we're gonna go to the location in style the only way that the Crown Vic boys can supply, we're gonna convoy up out there and uh, do it up, man. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. We're all over the place, man. You know. review uh james crown vic in just a second but i just want to give you guys a little bit of a glamour shot of what it looks like uh once it's finally been installed the wraparound bumper there it is definitely more uh, aggressive uh to say the least all right now oh, I want to be, be. 